Now, you're probably wondering, what is ChatGPT? It's currently all the rage across the internet. Well, I asked ChatGPT that exact question, and this is the response down below I got in AI language. Basically, it's an advanced artificial intelligent chatbot that allows you to ask it any questions, and it will quickly spit out a human-like and accurate response. Crazy, right? And for business, ChatGPT can be an extremely powerful tool for SEO and keyword research. And today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. Okay, so before you go ahead and launch into this ChatGPT tutorial for business, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into game-changing activities for SEO and keyword research using ChatGPT. Okay, so as you can see, I've arrived inside ChatGPT. Now to arrive on this website, simply head over to your browser and type in ChatGPT and then locate this website or feel free to click the link down below in the description and that's going to take you here. And remember, we want to leverage AI, artificial intelligence, using this chat bot so that we can further our business so that we can engage in business research in particular keyword research for seo search engine optimization essentially chat gpt is going to help us with the process of ranking our website higher on search engines like google bing and yahoo and i'm going to show you exactly how to do this so let's go ahead and dive right into chat gpt now once you've arrived here simply navigate over to try chat gpt give chat gpt a moment to load then navigate over to sign up here you have the option to sign up with your email address or you can continue with google or your microsoft account i'm going to go ahead and continue with google to set up my account i'm going to go ahead and use this google account then go ahead and add your name and add your phone number for verification. Then hit send code via SMS. Then add the code you were sent. And that's going to take you inside chat GPT where we can start engaging in keyword research for SEO, search engine optimization. Now for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're going to use the example of a roofing business that is just getting started in Sydney, Australia. So we want to dive into keyword research and engage in SEO related activities for this business. To get us started, this business does not have a name. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT, what are some good name ideas for a roofing business in Sydney? To do that, I'm going to navigate down here and add that question. And then hit enter. And as you can see, ChatGPT will quickly generate a response. And these are some good business names we could use for our business. So what you would do is take some of these business names and then be creative with them and choose the name for your business. Okay, so now I want to identify the top keywords for roofing businesses in Sydney. So I'm going to navigate down and add that question in here and then hit enter. And as you can see, this is the response we've been given. So what I would do is copy down all of these keywords. Now I can also navigate over to regenerate response and chat GPT will generate a new response, but I won't do that just yet. I like these keywords. So what I'm going to do is write these keywords down. These are the keywords I want to use in my website. I want to use in my title. I want to use in the descriptions. These are the keywords that I want to use throughout my website. Now let's say that our main service is roof repair. So I want to find some variations of this keyword here, roof repair. So what I would do is navigate down here and remember what you want to do is ask a question just like you're asking another human and you're going to get a human like response back depending on what you're asking. So I'm going to add what are some variations of roof repair and then hit enter. Give chat GPT a moment. And as you can see, ChatGPT has generated a list of keywords that are relevant to roof repair. Again, I would copy down all these keywords and use these throughout my content. If I had a services page that was specifically for roof repair, then I would make sure to include all the keywords that are relevant to my service. 
and you can see there's a little note down here. Now what I want to do is ask for some title ideas using these keywords. These are the titles that I'll use for my pages as well as for the titles in my Google Ads. So to do that I'm going to navigate down and type in can you share some good title ideas using these keywords and then hit enter. And how cool is that? This AI system has gone ahead and generated 20 titles using the keywords above that I can now use throughout my content, organic and paid marketing activities. I can also go ahead and click regenerate response. Let's say I've gone ahead and used all of these titles. I've slightly modified them based on my business so they're relevant to my business. And now I want more ideas. I'm going to go ahead and click regenerate response. And as you can see, just like that, another 23 title ideas have been generated. I hope you can see how powerful this tool is for keyword research, SEO, and other business related activities. This tool is going to save so much time when it comes to business research. Now, let's say that I like this title over here, Emergency Roof Repair Services in Sydney. So this is title number nine. What I can do is navigate down here and let's say that I want to generate a description idea that I can use in my meta description. So the part that shows up under your title in Google search when people search for your business products or services. So I'm going to navigate down here and type in for title number nine, what would be a good meta description? And then hit enter. And as you can see, this meta description has been generated. All we would do is copy this, maybe change it slightly. We would add our business name in here and then make sure it's relevant to our roofing services, our roofing business or campaign that we're running or page on our website. So just like that, we now have a meta description for the title Emergency Roof Repair Services in Sydney. Again, we can navigate down and regenerate the response if we're not too happy with this description. Now let's say that we want more exposure for our business in Sydney. We currently have a business name, we've done some keyword research, we've identified keywords that we want to use in our website, that we want to target, that potential customers are typing in on Google and other search engines, and we've identified titles that we want to use in our content, as well as for our marketing campaigns, and we've generated a meta description. Now I want to come down here and ask what are some relevant local websites in Sydney where I can list my business? So where can I actually list my business in Sydney so I can get more exposure online? And this will ultimately help me with my SEO, my local search engine optimization. This will increase my discoverability online. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, just like that, ChatGPT has generated 10 websites where I want to list my business details. You can see number one is the Google Business Profile, formerly known as Google My Business. Now what you want to do is take all 10 of these websites and then add your business in a P name, address and phone number. And make sure your name, address and phone number for your business is accurate and consistent across all of these websites where you're listing your business. So your business name, your business phone number and your business address. And then down here we can go ahead and we can regenerate the response if we like. And up here we have a useful note. These are not the only websites available. You can find other local websites by searching for roofing business directory in Sydney. And that's something we could do to find further websites where we can list our business. Then to get more out of chat GPT, what I can do is navigate down here and ask what are some marketing activities for driving more leads? And then enter. And just like that, we now have 10 ideas for engaging in marketing activities for driving more leads into our roofing business. We have search engine optimization, pay per click, PPC marketing, social media marketing, content marketing, email marketing, referral marketing, networking, direct mail marketing, trade shows and events, partnership and sponsorship. 
So there might be a few ideas here that you never thought about before. We can even come down here and we can ask more about a particular marketing activity. For example, if we wanted to learn more about content marketing, then we can navigate down here and just ask, please tell me more about content marketing or some content marketing ideas. Now we can also navigate up to the left hand side and we can generate a new chat by clicking new chat. And we can always come back to this chat over here, Sydney Roofing Business. We can also click here and we can change the name of this chat session. So we can always log into our account and navigate back through this conversation and look for the keywords that we want to use in our marketing activities. Or like I mentioned, you can initiate a new chat. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in this tutorial, helping you understand how to use chat GPT, artificial intelligence, to grow your business, to engage in keyword research, and to optimize your website for search engines, SEO, search engine optimization. Let me know if you've found this tool helpful for generating ideas and for helping you in the different areas of your business. This is going to be an absolute game changer in the future for all types and sizes of business. And there we have it guys, that is it for this ChatGPT tutorial for business. Now if you have any questions about using ChatGPT for keyword research and SEO purposes, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.